Hello students. Today we are going to do question number 1 of exercise 5.2 chapter 5 understanding elementary shapes class 6 mathematics. First question what fraction of a clockwise revolution does the RN of a clock turn through when it goes from first 3 to 9. So what part of a fraction revolution we need to find out. 3. We are at 3, sir. And we have to move towards 9. Where is 9? Here, 9. Now, how many hours are there between 3 to 9? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 hours. 3 to 9, 6 hours are there. 6 hours means half of a revolution. 2 right angles. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Whenever 3 hours are there, 1 right angle. 6 hours, 2 right angles. 9 hours, 3 right angles. And 12 hours, 1 complete angle. So, 3 to 9, how many hours? 6 hours. And in 6 hours, we can see easily that it is what fraction of a clockwise revolution? It is half of a revolution. Half of a revolution. Now see another one. 4 to 7. So you have to remember the key points. What is the key point? For 3 hours. For 3 hours it is 1 fourth of a revolution. For 6 hours, it is half of a revolution. For 9 hours, it is 3 fourth of a revolution. And lastly, for 12 hours, it is 1 full revolution, 1 complete revolution. So, these are the key points you must know. So, these are key points. You must know this. Now, let's see. And one more thing. 3 hours means 1 right angle. You must know this also. 6 hours means 2 right angles. It turns through 2 right angles. Then 9 hours means 3 right angles. And 12 hours means 1 complete revolution means 4 right angles. And 2 right angles is also known as straight angle. 1 straight angle. And 4 right angles, 2 straight angles. So now let's do our question number B part. 4 to 7. So mark the center. 4 is here. And 7. 7 is here. So 1, 2, 3. 3 hours. We have moved through 3 hours. So we'll write 3 hours. For 3 hours, how many revolutions? What part of revolution it is? 1 fourth. So write 1 fourth of a revolution. Now let's move to the third one, C1. See the third one now. 7 to 10. 7. Where is 7? 7 is here. 10. 10 is here. See. So 1, 2, 3. Again 3 hours. So for 3 hours we'll write. What we'll write for 3 hours? It is one fourth of a revolution. Now for twelve to nine, D one twelve. Where is twelve? Twelve is here. Mark it. And nine. Where is nine? Here. And we are moving towards clockwise. It is written that clockwise. In question, it is written clockwise. So clockwise move करना है. तो हमें ऐसे नहीं जाना हमको इस तरह से जाना 
ये हो गया क्लॉक वाइज रेवल्यूशन नाउ जस्ट काउंट हाउ मेनी आर्स ट्वेल्व टू नाइन वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन सो हाउ मेनी आर्स नाइन आर्स एंड फॉर नाइन आर्स वी नो इट इज थ्री फोर्थ ऑफ ए रेवल्यूशन now let's see the e and f remaining two let's complete this also 1 to 10 so see one where is one first of all mark center you have to draw clock every time 1 to 10 where is 10 10 is here and we have to move clockwise so In this way, we have to move one to ten. So just count number hours: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine hours. So nine hours means three fourth of a revolution, or three right angles. Now comes to last one, F one, six to three. So where is six? Six is here. Two, three. Where is three? Three is here. And we have to move clockwise. Don't think that here. We have to move clockwise in this way. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it is nine hours. Nine hours means again three fourth of a revolution. so i hope that you understood how to mark revolutions what fraction it is so thank you so much for watching the video